Now to a CBS2 investigation into the death of a worker at a steel supply company in Schaumburg. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey has been digging into the company's safety record and found a recent accident investigation and another worker's death. Schaumburg Fire and Police were called to the steel and aluminum supply company around 10:30 Thursday morning. A machine accident. Someone reportedly stuck in a machine. The 26-year-old worker had died by the time police arrived. Schaumburg Police couldn't tell us what kind of machinery took his life, but radio traffic paints a tragic picture. They are reporting that the upper torso is trapped in the machine. Today we learned it's a company that the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, was already familiar with. Employees tell CBS2 a worker died at the same facility in 2008 after a tragic accident with a crane. The same facility was also cited recently in 2017 after a worker lost three fingers to a circular saw machine. They were issued six violations, totaling more than $65,000 for hazardous energy and machine safety requirements. Today we asked an OSHA spokesperson about the case, which the company is actively fighting. Because the company contested the last set of citations, OSHA won't make comment on that. So what happened this time, and is the company following OSHA standards? No response from the company's corporate headquarters. When we visited the Schomburg office in person. I'm from Channel 2, and we've been trying to get some answers about the accident yesterday. We were given a number to call. Hang up or press pound for more options. But no call back. Today, Schaumburg police said there is no criminal investigation into this accident. OSHA has six months to complete their latest investigation. Live in the newsroom, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News. Megan Hickey, thank you.